Kia ora, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news that while the global recovery is certainly underway, investors seem nervous about where to from here. The conference board is reporting high but unchanged American consumer sentiment levels in May and sales of new single-family homes in the US stumbled in April, mirroring the hesitation in their existing homes market. And the next US regional Fed manufacturing survey, this one from the Richmond Fed, shows activity is holding high in May, but that price pressures are unusually extreme. And there was a US Treasury two-year note auction earlier today, and yields fell. This one went for 0.11% for the $71.6 billion offered. At the prior equivalent auction, the yield was 0.15% for identical amounts raised. And the Chinese yuan has hit its highest level against the US dollar in three years, as it appears Beijing is using the appreciation as a way of limiting inflationary pressures at home. And after falling marginally on Monday, the iron ore price resumed yesterday with a small rise on Chinese futures markets. Given Beijing's weekend instructions, that rise was somewhat unexpected. In Germany, sentiment among managers has improved considerably. A widely watched survey reached its highest value since May 2019. Companies are more satisfied with their current business situation and they're also more optimistic regarding the immediate future. The German economy is picking up speed. And the OECD is reporting that the international trade in goods reached record levels in the first quarter of 2021. The rises were fast. The US Treasury 10-year yield starts today at down five basis points at 1.56%, and the price of gold starts today up to $1,899 an ounce, a rise of $16 today. That's a five-month high. Oil prices start today unchanged at just under $66 a barrel in the US, while the international Brent price is just under $68.50 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar opens today marginally firmer at 72.3 US cents. Against the Australian dollar, we're up to 93.2 Australian cents, and against the euro, we're unchanged at 59.1 euro cents. That means our trade weight in index starts today at 73.7. And locally today, there are some major economic events due, including a Fonterra update and a Reserve Bank monetary policy statement, and we'll have full coverage. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston. That was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.